So we are here at the wedding. All of our friends, we're getting ready to head inside. And we've met so many great people. Pennies, there's so many. Ace of Vegas, there's Bobby G. There's Bobby G, what the hell is he wearing? No, God, please, no! Bobby, what the hell are you wearing? Huh? What are you wearing? Calvin Klein underwear. What? That is disgusting and disrespectful. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, okay, okay. Yes! Ah! Me and Bobby, Tim as Dumb and Dumber. And obviously, we, we mentioned it to Kino, and I dropped it like, hey, imagine if Dumb and Dumber showed up at your wedding, and he's like, ah. and I'm definitely dumb. Hey, yeah, okay. I'm not gonna <laughs> argue with that. Hey there, everyone. This is Matt Bridget, and you are listening to the Vegas Confessions Podcast. Didn't we go to my favorite dive bar before that? We went yeah. to Double Down. Double Down Saloon. Yeah, we had some ash juice. I am all about asking. Yeah. <laughs> you guys need to go check that room. There's like a dead guy in the in the bed. And the, the lady at the counter says, well, we'll call housekeeping. Like, housekeeping? Jay's never met an asshole he didn't like. <laughs> Shout out to the guy at third base at the blackjack table I was at last, who was obviously trying to keep a high-low count, but was mouthing the numbers as the cards were being oh, turned geez. over. Be careful what you say, because we can have you whacked. Hey, I'm Nicky Fermich, and you're listening to the Vegas Confessions Podcast. What is up folks and welcome back to the channel. So we're back here for another trip. We just got checked into the room. We're gonna show you all that stuff in a bit, but it's already been an interesting morning. Kelly's been hot and on fire on these slot machines. Don't you, jinx me. You have been hot, have you not? But don't no, jinx me. No, I know, I know, I know. So we went over to Circa. I'm gonna knock on $7 free play into 500. So that was awesome. On my favorite machine in Vegas, it's Planet Moolah. It's officially your favorite now? Yeah, it's way, I, I used to love Sharknado because they don't have that in the valley, like wherever we're from, but they don't really have Planet Moolah either at any of our casinos. I've checked them all out. So when I come here, Plaza has a, a Planet Moolah, but the max you can bet is $2.50. At Circa, there's a high limit Planet Moolah. You can bet it for like 25 bucks. It's, <laughs> I don't do that, but I like to bet like five bucks. You do it on accident. Yeah, I did it on accident. One time today, <laughs> the very first time I played it at Circa, I put a hundred dollar bill in and I was like, oh, it's the same as, you know, Plaza 250. I did it four times and I'm like, why do I have no more money left? Yeah. yeah. We're here this weekend. She's already on fire. The day hasn't even got started. We're just getting ourselves checked into the room. We have an awesome wedding going on this weekend with the Kinos. There's going to be so many friends in town. I don't even know where to begin. Plaza hooked us up with a great room. Guys, you're going to trip out. We're going to make another separate video about this room. It is freaking yeah. dope. I have my room, which I'm used to, and you've been in it. Yeah. It's nice, but this is a whole nother level. All right, guys, so I just wanted to show you guys this room real quick. We have a penthouse here at the plaza, and this is super nice. We've never stayed in these rooms, and man, oh man, are we surprised. Even back here behind the bar, we have our own ice maker. We have a bar and we don't even drink. <laughs> and guess we're gonna change that tonight. Kelly, we're getting drunk. <laughs> Guys, nice big bed. I can't say enough cool things about the plaza. This room, phenomenal. We're gonna go grab something to eat. We'll probably head over to Circa and show you some, what happens over there. Let's do it.
pop-up, delicious. The pizza's always great, but we just had a little war of what was better. She likes the garlic knots. I think the fried pickles are the best part. I mean, I, I don't know. You guys let us know. Go try both and tell us what you think. They're both good, but garlic knots, both. Fried pickles. Alrighty guys, so I want to know what you think about this sign right here. There is no mob. Quoted by Oscar Goodman. Agree or disagree? <laughs> Alrighty guys, we came to our next spot. We're at Griff's, checking it out. Met up with some friends and Kelly just got a drink. I got a drink. Surprise, surprise, cheers. And she also just got three twos dealt to her. So let's see if we can get the fourth one. Let's go. Ready? Alrighty, so now you just need a two. Make it easy. Make it rain. here at Ellis Island and we got a screen full of wilds on one of our favorite games, Willy Wonka. Come on, stop right there. Uh, anything in the middle, yeah? Candies? Candy? Oh, that's good. That's good, yeah. Second half is good. many times in a row three times in a row three bonuses in a row we've never seen this back to back we've seen but three Yeah. Oh, oh, come on, five. Blue, 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 blue. I think 
Me too. Hit the button, see if it does four in a row. Come on, come on. Gambling gods. Four in a row? No. Uh, we tried. It was good though. Three it was a good run. Three in a row is great, yeah. All righty, guys, we're back. We just finished up. We took a road trip out here, and we are at? Jerry's Nugget. How did it go for you? Not good. Not good, okay. <laughs> well, I jumped on the craps table. One shooter had one number left in order to hit the all tall small. Dang, that's always exciting. Yeah, but on the bright side, I doubled up my money and finally learned my lesson, cashed out. So, <laughs> colored up. Now we're heading out to Good Times Billiards to go check out some live karaoke and hang out with some friends. And it's probably going to be a late night. It's already midnight. <laughs> and welcome back to it's officially our second day we were running around all night last night but had to dress up for the occasion a little bit had to come proper so let's go down we're starting our day off we what time did we go to sleep four i went to sleep at four you said you went to sleep, I went to at, sleep six. at six yeah i was editing some videos and putting some up posts at 30. Out. Woo! the only way to start the day Damn! so let's go gamble a little bit do some free play and see if we have some luck. Let's do it. Alrighty, we got some free games. Let's do it.
turn it up. Seven. guys so we are here so we are here at the wedding all of our friends we're getting ready to head inside and we've met so many great people pennies there's so many ace of vegas there's bobby g there's bobby g what the hell is he wearing what the fuck's he wearing but there's danny ocean there's so many bobby what the hell are you wearing huh what are you wearing calvin klein underwear and tmi bobby what are you wearing what are you wait that is disgusting and disrespectful. Alright. Hey, 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 stop, not right now. Alrighty guys, so we're heading in and obviously Hi. me and Bobby came as dumb and dumber. And obviously we, we mentioned it to okay. Kino and I dropped it like, hey, imagine if dumb and dumber showed up at your wedding and he's like ah. I'm definitely dumb. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna argue with it. Let's get inside. pick up some pop-up pizza for me and Kelly. I got some garlic nuts and some fried pickles. There's a gentleman behind me and I heard the accent and they were ordering more pizza, right? Because they love their Suprema here at Papa. So what I decided to do is have them try a fried pickle. Guys, how is your fried pickles? Very good. Very good. That's very cool. Thanks for trying it. I'm glad you guys like it. No worries. They tried fried pickles. They're from Holland. Never tried it before. Freaking cool. We're on Wicked Wheel. Max Bat. Yeah, it's on Max Bat. You better be worth it, you little fucker. Talk to me like that, Kelly. Oh. Three times 1200. Take it. Oh my god. On a bonus? I think the top one. Ooh, $122. Just then. That's a better one.
That's way better. All right, so let's recap what's happened since I've last talked to you. We went to the wedding, went to go hang out with everybody. Obviously, as you guys saw, me and Barbie G dressed up as Dumb and Dumber. Super fun idea. I talked about doing it as soon as the proposal happened a couple months ago, and it was a super cool reaction we got from everybody. And my favorite part of the day is when Kino said how nervous he was. He told me this three, four times, and he said how nervous he was. And as soon as me and Bobby G walked in, he just was like, hell yeah, I'm ready for this. So it made me feel better. It made me, initially I wanted to do it so they had something to remember on their special day. And so if they can go back and have a good laugh about it the rest of their life, that's what it's about. So again, it's Vegas. It's all about having fun. And that's what I'm all about. Bobby, big shout out to you. Make sure you guys go over and subscribe to Bobby G's channel. Super cool dude. I love hanging out with them. Always super fun. So what we're gonna do now in a bit is I came to get myself ready because we're gonna go meet up with my boss and some friends at a place that has a happy hour. This place is a Tapanyaki style restaurant and has some of the best rated food in Las Vegas, okay? And here's the kicker. There's a happy hour that starts at 12 o'clock. All your drinks, including food, is half price. So. We're taking the group down there, gonna show them a little something special that this place has to offer and just how much fun it can be. So, and I can't even begin to tell you guys how cool it was to see so many cool people. I mean, seriously, this community, I, I can't say enough cool things about so many fun people. And at the same time, to have Kelly be a part of it and have people know who she is, and when she tells me, hey, I have no idea who some of these people you know, are that are saying hi. I was like, that's the beauty of this. They already know who you are sometimes. And it makes it that much more fun because when you let them know that you don't know who they are and they explain, hey, I've been watching, you're like, holy crap. All right, Callie's on her Madonna. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Come on, fill it up. We need to fill it up. I forgot about it. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Three chances. Fill it up. Come on. I need the wheel. Let's get the wheel. Come on. Come on, Sarah. Fill it up. One more. One more. One more. One more. Ah, uh, one more time. Come on. Fill it up. 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 Oh. I get the extra chances. No. Damn. I want to do double. It. Hour later. So we are here at a place called Musashi. This is the place I was telling you guys about that's got a late night happy hour menu. All the food and drinks are half off, right? So I told some friends about it. I'm here with some friends from work, I'm here with Kelly. Let me show you guys who's here. There's a lot of fun people. And again, everything here is half off and the food's phenomenal. So a little background, guys. We're meeting Penny's for the first time and we're bringing him to a place he's never ever been to. They don't have this kind of cuisine back at his hometown, so this is going to be really cool to experience. Penny, you don't have anything like this back at home? No, nothing. Oh, dude, you're going to love this Not a chance. I'm excited. Yeah! Do it, do it, do it. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Sushi with lobster on top. Beautiful egg rolls. I'm not so good. We got some egg rolls delivered. Oh, that went the lobster. Get it back on top. I got it. You gotta eat it together. Eat it together. Yeah, you gotta put it back. Put it back on top. You gotta do this right. Use your fingers. You better backhand that kid. They were only using pork box. Oh, you can't do that. Focus. Focus. It's a damn lobster. Oh, oh, I got it. I don't know. Oh, you lost it. It's right here. Hey. Really? It happened on me. Mark, you think she nailed it? Uh, no.
played up for him. What is up folks and welcome back to what is day three. Last night was a freaking blast. Give him a recap Cal and everything. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> He's having a hard morning. I'm trying to wake up, he man. He didn't drink. <laughs> he didn't drink. He's like, oh, I feel like I'm hungover. I'm fucking I'm hungover. And I didn't even have a drink. <laughs> I'm struggling with it this morning. And I'm ready to go downstairs. Yeah, obviously. Look at like, you got a bag on her arm ready to go. Look at our shirts today. I was hoping for a battle of wits, but you appear to be an arm. And then look at Julian's. Classy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so recap the, the restaurant. We went to Musashi. Yeah. Um, it is a Japanese steakhouse. And if you go at midnight or after, mm -hmm. they have a late night special. So basically all their teppanyaki half price. Mm -hmm. um, great meal, great friends. We had like six... YouTube vloggers, uh, podcasters with us. Um, Julian's new boss and his girlfriend, super sweet people. Um, what's the other guy's name that I sat next Constantine. to? Constantine. Constantine. Yeah. I don't know why I forget that name. Um, but just their super. Their friend Frisbee. Yeah, their friend. Oh, good she's people. awesome. Yeah, good but people. I mean, a good group of people. Not everybody even knew each other, but had right. such a great time. The host, awesome. Yeah, Enrique. Enrique was awesome. Just you know, like almost like he knew you and he, yeah. you know, we had never met him and the chef just had skills mm -hmm. that killed. I yeah. mean, he was throwing them instruments in the air, lighting shit on fire. Yeah. It was a great time. I mean, it really was. I'm not normally up that late. <laughs> so I mean, we got back at like two, two thirty, and, but it, we had such a good time. Yeah. This whole trip has been a blast because yeah. I've been trying to take Cal to do different things away from downtown the Strip and show her some of the local side of things. As you know, we will be living here in the future. So showing her around and getting her acclimated with places and some of the things we'll be doing. And, people and we had a good wedding. Out. The wedding was awesome. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. such a great group of people that showed yeah. up for the wedding. And to add on top of that great group of people last night right and were group. awesome I so, mean, the wedding went off without a hitch i mean it was yeah, great to see it was awesome yeah um, at the meal last night pennies for vegas joined us me on vacation kia bell trisha i mean so many friends and it was cool because pennies and liz don't have these kind of restaurants back home they said yeah they said they, they don't have the restaurants where they cook in front of you right. they hadn't been to Tiffany one Yaki, right and they loved it. They loved it. You know, they, they loved it. They appeared to love it. And, and what's so. cool is he was just like, you can tell how much he was enjoying the chef yeah. cooking the meal, cutting the meats, flipping and making fire right in yeah. front of him. Because it's really neat. It's, it's a cool. neat experience if yeah. you haven't been to Tepeyaki. You know, it's... And that was the first time I met the guy. And, and it was been, a good show. This yeah. It's like you go to some type of naggy places and the yeah. guys will cook for you and, you know, that's cool. But he was flipping yeah, things and good. doing things with yeah. the egg and right. it was, yeah, it was it a was good cool. show. And it yeah. was the first time I met Penny's after watching him for years. He was so excited. It was really cool to yeah. hang out and what a better way to meet a fellow YouTuber and have a good meal and laughs and just right. his wife, Liz, awesome. Just so many good people. Pat. 
fucking awesome. Pat. Yeah, Pat. Pat's yeah. cool. Good people, man. Yep. All right, so let's get downstairs because somebody's got an itch to degen and scratch. You got a bitch? What? All righty, guys. Kelly's on the machine down in the row for me. I got a bonus here on this I Love Free Games. I've been playing the shit out of this slot machine. It's pretty fun. Let's see what happens. been tagging me on Instagram and now I don't use Instagram very well or know much about it in the first place because it just started it don't laugh at me damn it so we stopped at a place called Havana Grill and it's in Henderson and the owner's not here who runs the social media but we're gonna check out some of the appetizers here and give it a try and then maybe I'll come back once I can get in contact with the owner and line up a date when I'm in town to learn more about the business but I mean it's pretty cool check this out Alrighty guys, so that's what you're seeing here is like the dessert side and God, Kelly, how much stuff is there? Look at this stuff. There's all the ice cream here, all the different flavors. They make it all in house, all your toppings. I mean, check this out. All the desserts, cakes, tiramisu, you name it, there is so much stuff here. So we did get some of these tarteletas de guava, and I asked them which was more popular, this one or this one, and they said the guava. But you have cannolis, we got a tres leches, there's a con leche, I mean there's so much stuff in this place. This right here I asked about, they are coconut covered balls, I mean there's so much stuff here. So we tried some, we ordered an appetizer and we got some treats. She also said that these are some of the most popular sellers too. They're like their pastries. There's so much stuff to try. I'm gonna get so fat. So this is the restaurant side and they just brought the appetizer out and oh my God. Guys, this is the neatness of different businesses recognizing, hey, there's some idiot out there going to these businesses. This is awesome. Check this food out. Alrighty guys, so we ordered our food. Check this stuff out, Kelly's putting it up between us. There's so much stuff here. This is a potato bowl with meat inside, the hamad. There's so much, it smells so good. Mini Cuban sandwiches. Kelly, how is it? You tried the sandwich already. Sandwich. Yeah, this is the potato bowl with meat inside. Mind you guys, we've never had this kind of food. I'm doing it with the sauce, so why not? Holy shit. Yeah. It's like so soft inside, it's like mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I tried this. It has like sausage in it. It's like a sausage? 
No, the flavor is awesome, and this you would think would be like more chocolatey, but it's just creamy, and it complements the bread. <laughs> yeah. All right, and now we're gonna try this guy. Kelly doesn't want to try it because she says she's not a big tart fan. This is their guava. They're really known for these. They're all over their Instagram, and they're well known, like like I said. So let's give it a shot. Just lift it. Yeah, lift it up. Okay. Yeah, just lift it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take a bite. Don't tell me what to do, Cal. Take this out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take it all the good stuff. I'm just kidding. It's okay. This video is not very organized. Whatever. Welcome to the channel. All right. Now it's falling apart. Doesn't it look even better? <laughs> we can't live here. <laughs> we just get a gym membership. We cannot move here. Gym membership. Who's gym? Alrighty. So right now we just came to another spot. This place has been recommended to me by friends. It's called Twisted Chimney. And it's owned by a couple different friends through a friend. And they're talking about how we had to visit this place. They do a bunch of different style of Hungarian desserts. So we just went from Cuban food to Hungarian. Let's go check this out. Shakes, I, I mean, just, just watch. guys so here's the menu they have their twisted chimney stuff all their signatures everything you guys can think of soft and salty and twisted berry cake and their Hungarian desserts okay so there's the drinks as well you guys can pause the video there's mango twist classic vanilla cookies and cream they're all 10 50 11 bucks and these are like nine bucks but as you can see these are the cones and they're made daily, hourly, just depending on the sale. So this one over here is a, like a cinnamon, and that's a chocolate one. That's gonna be for the Twisted Chimney, their signature one. Let me zoom in a little bit. So you guys can see there's a fruity latte. I mean, just from the pictures alone, you guys can tell that these are really cool treats. So 
then you go down and if you want to build your own menu, check this out. It's a cinnamon sugar wafer, the walnuts one. There's so many different kinds you can do. This is super neat. We ordered, I think we ordered the Twisted Chimney and we ordered the Cookies and Cream drink to try a little bit of both. Very, very cool. This is the Twisted Chimney Signature Special right here. You guys gotta check this out. So it's got chocolate custard, their cone. This is a Hungarian dessert. And then right next to that, we got our milkshake. This is Cookies and Cream. And these are hot, just made. Kelly, give it a shot. We've never tried anything like this, guys, mind you. Great, and I wanna really? try this. This try, is homemade try the cone. every day, they said. Yeah, they make yes. them by the hour, depending on how busy they are. Look at you, you're just... Okay. I am, I'm wow. wearing No, yeah, no, that's perfect. That's, let's pull apart. <laughs> okay, now try it and scoop the custard. <laughs> I'm sure that's the way it's supposed to be. With all of it, so you taste Look it all. That. Yes, that's what you want. <laughs> Ready? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mama has a new favorite in town. Oh. <laughs> really? Is that good? Is that good? We're having a troll. No, I'm not getting my own. <laughs> That's amazing. Really? Oh, I'm so it's excited. Really good. Just... His milkshake what brings all the boys to the yard. You, you, you can feel the heat, right? It intensifies that flavor. Right? Hold on. Hold on, because that's really good, but I will let you try some of mine. <laughs> Hold on, I'll let you try that. We'll get we'll get to both. Is that a Kit Kat? That's a Kit Kat right there. Don't touch that. You take, a pe take a piece of the, the bread. I see you. Don't nobody try to steal. <laughs> no, take a piece of the bread. Take a piece of the bread. Pick it up with your fingers. Just the bread. All right, I'm going to try just the bread. Just the bread. <laughs> right? Okay, okay, okay. I'm not a sweets person, by the way. <laughs> this is that song. <laughs> right? So good. <laughs> Is it so good? <laughs> All right, you can't have any more. <laughs> so we're back here at the hotel. We just came back from Havana Grill, Twisted Chimney. We came back here. But right now, we have two friends that are having dinner here at Oscars. And it's Penny's and Liz. They're having dinner here with some friends. So I'm going to go over to the bar and send them a few drinks incognito. <laughs> Had a blast hanging out with these folks last night. And when they're in my neck of the woods, might as well send them some drinks, right? So if you walk in the Oscars, and you guys know, in the back's the bar and the restaurant, but what's just been added recently is this statue of Oscar Goodman consoling Tony Spilatro. In the back, you see the downtown Fremont Street experience. And if you guys know the story, you know that this Vegas history right here. Pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> she already saw me. Enjoy a drink, brother. How are you? I saw you guys were having dinner. You guys enjoy. I wanted to send some drinks over. Guys, yeah. make sure you guys are subscribed to Penny's channel. These guys are some of the most fun people to watch. If you guys have been watching their vlogs lately in Vegas, guys, you guys know that they are very entertaining. And this community is just freaking awesome. So they were having dinner, we brought them drinks, and that's what this is all about. Guys, enjoy your dinner. Alrighty, so we just sent drinks over to Penny's and Liz. And now we're heading back downstairs to go find the wife because I'm sure she's gambling somewhere down there. Let's go. Okay, we are having an argument right now. Okay, you know how many slot machines where you have to pick? Okay, so, so she told me red is unacceptable because that's the grand and that's the only one we can pick. 
And I said, well, what about the next best one, Major? She said no. Solo Rose. So now she's getting mad at me because I picked the purple one and a mini. And she's picked the red one. I picked the red one. No pressure. So we're on this coin combo game and she just picked another green. So, uh-huh. Why your shit? Oh, what is that? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Touch to read. If you get one more, it'll double the thingies. But you gotta find another one. Another one of them. Oh, but it's still nothing? It's still nothing. There it is. Oh, shit. Am I walking home? Yeah. Okay, Kelly's in another bonus. This is a different one. I gotta connect. I connect the double. <laughs> next day last night we went and met up with the buddy to check out a pool tournament which i think was forty five thousand dollars on the line it's crazy big serious pool scene there 
So that was cool to check out. Afterwards, we went and checked out the comedy show at the Tropicana. Got to see comedy headliner Tom Rhodes. Tom Rhodes is somebody I've listened to on the Joe Rogan podcast, the Burt Kreischer podcast. I mean, this guy is a hell of a funny dude. And to watch him in person last night was a blast. Afterwards, got to meet the guys, chat with them. And exchanged info, again, the networking part in this town is my favorite. That's what I love about this place is anything you want to try is here. And you don't have to travel the world essentially to go get it. It's all right here and you can go get it. So again, it's all about knowing where to go. And a lot of these places I love networking with between social media and just visiting in person. And when a business tags me online or anything like that, I'm going to show up. And there's been a couple bands, a couple comedy shows and places that I've been tagging. So there's going to be a lot of networking coming in the future of the channel. So right now we've packed up. We got a lot of our stuff ready to go. We're heading home today. Again, a lot of content coming, fun things happened, cool people met, a lot of fun things had this trip, especially like dressing up as Dumb and Dumber. One of the funnest things I've ever done in Vegas, and that's an experience that, you know, I'll get to take with me forever. So being able to do it for a friend, making him feel more comfortable on his wedding day, and just making everybody laugh. I mean, that that's what it was about. So again, giving them something to go back and remember on their special day when they think about it in the future. So. Alrighty, so we went and stocked up on some stuff for the road, and we just noticed something in the elevator. Somebody had a rough weekend, watch this. What happened? <laughs> What's up, folks? Oh. So what's up folks? We had an amazing three days in Vegas. We had two nights that we stayed up all night and we did so many amazing things. We had a great wedding. Julian was dressed as Dumb and Dumber with his friend Bobby G. We went to a comedy club. We did a little gaming. We did some exploration and had some Awesome, awesome food. We tried Cuban food for the first time. We had some amazing Hungarian desserts, which were phenomenal. <laughs> they were absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> but we did so much more than that, you know. <laughs> Spend time with amazing people and had a great, great experience at March Madness. And March Madness. Las Vegas was just booming with people. It was like the busiest we've seen in a long time, which is great. Welcome back, Vegas. <laughs> like I can't do a natural motherfuckers. Woo! <laughs> well, there it is. We'll see you next time. I'm in fucking tears. Oh my God. <laughs> If you can't make somebody laugh like that, <laughs> find a new man. I got to give a huge shout out to all of our Patreon members and supporters of the podcast here. Thank you, folks. You folks are awesome. If you're new around here, do me a favor. Hit that red button. It doesn't cost you anything. And I promise you, you're going to find some really enjoyable content on this YouTube channel. So with that being said, I'm out of here. Make sure you're following us on social media. And until the next video, cheers. Cheers.